Hi guys, welcome back. So you caught me building again. I absolutely love building with Legos. And you see I've created a house here. Now, I wonder if I asked you, how many Legos do you think I used to build this structure? Could you give me the exact number? Or maybe it'd be easier to round that number. Maybe you don't know the exact, how can we round it? Well, we're gonna play with rounding today. And so make sure you grab your math books, grab those manipulatives and any other supplies you're gonna need and let's get started. lesson we talked a little bit about our place value chart and if I asked you what the place value of these were could you tell me great I heard you I heard you say ones tens and hundreds well done and now we're moving into our Thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. What's next? Excellent. Let me get some more cards here. We have millions. One million, ten million, a hundred million. Let's get those up there. We're going to move them down a little bit this way so we have more space because, as you know from last time, we worked a little bit further than just millions. There we are, and here's our millions, 10 millions, and 100 millions. All right, who remembers what's next? Great. Billions. Wow. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this is a very, very big number. I hope you can see them all. Billions, 10 billions, and 100 billions. Great. All right, we don't need these. Now, the game we're gonna play today, let me ask you this first. Could you tell me what this, the value of this number? So if I asked you, how would you say that number? Well, I think I heard you. I think you said 178 billion, 800, we're gonna use our aces ones, by the way, 812 millions, 132,759. Let's say that one more time. Now that we know that our aces are ones. 178 billion, 812 million, 132,759. That sounds better. Okay, now we're gonna play a game with this number. I'm gonna pick one of my value places. I'm gonna choose my 10 thousands right here. So with my 10 thousands, I am gonna turn over this next card and I'm gonna place it down here. And what I need to do now is subtract from my 10 thousands. So we're gonna subtract. We're gonna pretend all these are zeros, okay? And I'm gonna put a really big line across here. So if I'm subtracting 20, thousand right I had 32,759 up here but I had three ten thousands but I'm subtracting two of them how many would I have left great one okay and then we would subtract accordingly two take away one's gonna give me two seven I'm sorry take away zero is gonna give me two seven take away zero five so the, the rest of these numbers are gonna be correct. And even the ones over here, right, my hundred thousands, I still have 100,000, two millions, one in my 10 million, eight in my 100 million, eight in my billions, seven in my 10 billions, and one in my 100 billions. So I just subtracted 20,000. Now I'm gonna play this game a couple more times. This next time I'm gonna add. So I'm gonna pick another, um, play a value and I'm gonna add, I'm gonna choose maybe hundreds and I'm gonna turn it over and it's a four. So now I'm gonna add 400. All right, so practice a little bit and then we will jump into our lesson. <laughs> So 
I showed you one of my Lego structures and I'm actually building another one. My goal is to build a city. So my second Lego structure, what if I told you it had 484 pieces to it? Now you may not remember exactly 484, but I wonder if we rounded this number, if it might be easier to remember. So when we round, there's a couple different ways we can actually round this number. One of the ways is we could round to the, t to the tens place right here. So we have our ones, tens, and hundreds, right? So we can round our tens right here. And how we do that, which we talked about in our card game a little bit, is if we go next door and this number is five or more, then we know that we get to round this number up. But if it's less than five, it stays the same. So if we're gonna round this number to the tenths place, it would be 480. Okay, so this is rounded to the tens place. I'm gonna write that right here so we remember that. Okay, so another way we can round it, if I gave you this number and you wanna round it to the hundredths place, how do you think you might do that? So here's our hundreds place. Yeah, you'd look next door and this number right here is five or more. So because of that, what do you think we'd do with this number? We would round up. So what's one greater than four? Great, 500. So when we round, we just always look to the place value to the right. And again, just remember if it's five or more, we're gonna round this number up. If it's less than five, we're gonna keep it the same. All right, so let's practice with some bigger numbers now. What if I told you from the sun to the earth, how far do you think that would be? Hmm. Would you believe it is 92,818,000 miles? Kind of far. So this is kind of a big number. And again, we may not remember the, all of these digits, but if we round, I bet it's gonna be easier for us to remember. But let's do this with this one. We're gonna actually draw a number line. And with our number line, we're just gonna draw as straight as we can. All right, so as we look at our number here, and the distance between the earth and the sun, I want to, as I created this number line, I wanna put different numbers on the ends to figure out where this might fit in here. So on this side, I'm gonna keep that 92 million. But on this side, I'm gonna round up to 93 million. Okay. And if I find the middle, what might you think would go in the middle? 92 million here, 93 million here. I bet you said it. We would have 92,500,000, okay? Great, 92,500,000. So just by looking at our number line, I bet you have a guess already approximately where our number would go on our number line. But just to add a few more details, let's add some increments in between these two numbers. I see that we have 500,000 between these two numbers. So I wonder if I can do five different places here. So if I have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and five. Great, our next number would be 100,000. Then we would have 92,200,000. I won't write all of them because I can't fit them all here, but I think you get the idea. 92,300,000, 92,400,000, and then this is our 92,500,000. And then we would continue moving on, 92,600,000. And I will write this one in here, 92,700,000. And then we'd have 92,800,000 and 92,900,000 before we got to our 93 million. All right, I bet you already figured out where our number would go. 92,818,000. If this is our 92,800,000, yes, it would go right 
between these two right here, okay? So, if our number would go right here on our number line, what might you do? Are you going to round down or round up? You will probably round up. So this is how we would write this. We would say that 92,818,000 is approximately, and this is a new little sign that you'll, you'll learn. And it just means approximate. It's kind of a fun little wavy thing to draw. And then we're gonna write our answer here. So, this tells us that 92,818,000 is approximately 93 million. So that number might be easier for you to remember. Now there's another way we can also round this number. Let me erase my numbers down here. Maybe we, we see our 92 million and we wanna put 90 million over here and a hundred million, or sorry, not a, yes, 100 million over here. Could we do that? Sure, why not? All right, I'm gonna find my middle spot again, just like we used last time. What would you say is between 90 million and 100 million? Yes, you got it. 95 million. Okay, now, Hmm, can you guess where this number might go on our number line? If this is 90 and this is 95 million, we have 91 million, 92 million, 93, you got it, it is right here. So, in this example, we may wanna say that 92,818,000 is approximately 90 million. All right? Okay, let's move on. All right, so we're gonna keep working with our same number here. And what if I asked you to round this number to the 10,000th place? So if I asked you to round to the 10,000th place, you would look at your 10,000s right here, okay? And how we know what to round this number to, again, we would go next door, right? <gasps> I see an eight. So what might we do with this? We're gonna round it up. This number is five or more. So, and we wanna see these also with our um, disks. So if I have two million here, and then 800, whoops, thousand here. There's one in my 10 thousands, and I have eight thousands over here. Two, four, six, eight. Okay, I don't have um, 10 millions, but we can certainly draw them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I have nine of them. Okay, so we're gonna draw those and you may need to draw yours too. Okay, so again, we are rounding to the 10,000s. Now, since I look next door, I'm noticing that I need to round up. Exactly, so this is gonna move up to a two, okay? And then I'm gonna take these away and this becomes a zero. Okay, so we just rounded this number to the 10,000s place. Let's see, let's put our number back up here. And let's round to a different place. All right, let's round to the millions. Okay, so we find our million spot is right here. And again, we go next door, it's a greater than five. So we're gonna add one to our millions. That becomes a three. And then we take all these away. So we now have 93 million. So that was rounding that number to the millions place. All right, I think you're catching on. Let's play with this number. It might be a little easier number to be working with. Let's try 179,000 hmm, and 200. 
Okay, so if I work with that number, we're gonna see if we can do it without our place value disks this time. All right, your job is to round to the thousands. <gasps> oh, we might need our place value disks this time. <laughs> so we're gonna get our, um, let's get our hundred thousands out. Here's the hundred thousands. We have one of those, 10 thousands. We need seven of those. Oh, and I drop the rest on the floor. Let me grab those. All right, we're gonna need seven of these. All right, and now we're gonna need nine of our thousands. One more over here, and two of our hundreds. All right, you might have felt this was a little bit trickier because we see this nine. And so if we're going to round to the thousands, as you see, when we look next door, it is less than five. Oh, that makes it a little easier. Because of that, I get to keep that the same. Phew. We're going to take that away. And that is rounded to the thousands place. But what if, what if... We wanted to round it to the 10 thousandths place. So I'm gonna look here, right? This is my 10 thousandths, look next door. Greater than five, I'm gonna round this up to nine, or to eight, while I add another disc. And I'm gonna take all these away. And I just rounded this one to my 10 thousandths place, all right? Great job, you guys. All right, so now, hmm, let's round this number. Let's take, let's see, 2,750,000 as our number. Okay, now we're gonna round to the 10 thousandths place. Hmm, if we look next door, it already looks like it's rounded to the 10 thousandths place, doesn't it? Okay, what would this number look like if I rounded to the millions? I heard you, yes. If we rounded to the millions, we would round that up to three. You would get three million. All right, let's work with a number where we might need to borrow something. All right, this is gonna be our last number we're gonna work with. I'm gonna give us, actually, let me write it under our place value ones right here. So we're gonna work with 4,569,325. Okay, so now I want you to shout it out, okay? My first challenge for you is to round to the hundreds place. Great, I think I heard you. Look at the hundreds, you would keep that as a three, right? And those would become zeros. You would have 4,569,300. All right, what if I said round to the hundred thousands? Excellent, you look next door and you knew, you knew you needed to increase that to six. You would get 4,600,000, right? Great, all right, now, um, rounding is really, really helpful. What if I said, hey, come on over and let's build some Legos and you weren't sure how much to bring and I wasn't sure exactly how much to bring, but I can round and let you know about, maybe bring about hmm, 500 Legos. Great working on these numbers today, you guys. You did amazing. I'm gonna go now, round up some more Legos and finish my project. See you next time.